Good day. Today we're going to be looking at a video playback issue that I've been having the last few weeks here and I've done a few videos on how I fix them and unfortunately I've not been able to come up with the solution until today. So let's head over to the computer and we'll have a look here and see what I did to resolve my video playback issues. There we go. That's the one we want. All right, so I have the uh, little uh, animation thing there that everyone likes to use, and I'm just going to play this, and you be the judge. Um, all the stats are up there. I'm just going to let it play through. I'm not going to have the audio on it, but, uh, well, I'm not sure if it's actually working properly at the moment here, but we'll find out. If there's audio, great. If not, well, that's too bad. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to press play here, and I have it set at 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second. Uh, volume's at 19, let's see what happens. So we're definitely getting lots of dropped frames here. So instead of letting it play all the way through, I'm just going to go to the very end here and we'll look at the actual end results here. And then I'll try playing it at one setting lower than my 1080 to see if uh, it's going to play a lot better. So one thing I should mention is I am using the uh, I am using VNC viewer to do this. I do not currently have it going through my uh, video card, uh, but I'll set that up for future tests. But this is just to show that yes the video is working and i'm actually able to play back video now versus prior i was unable to get any sort of playback because you know things were not working so at the end of this video i'm going to just skip to the last we're going to see the total dropped frames uh and uh we'll kind of uh bump it down to the setting down and see how well that plays all in all i don't have a big monitor or anything on here i'm not playing at 4k i'm not trying to do too much with it i just want you know something that looks okay playing back now if i had a nice fancy monitor i would probably be more picky about my video playback but for those of you that are having an issue and you are playing on higher resolutions, I would suggest trying this fix. It might just solve a couple of issues for you. All right, here we go. One more time. I'm just going to play the first um, 10 seconds and then the last 10 seconds here. Uh, we won't go through a bunch of stuff, but once again, my video, I'm not getting any distortion in it. It's all back to running, and that's what I didn't have before if you checked out my previous videos. And then after these next 20 seconds, we will head over and try out uh, the fix here that I've managed to do that has helped me and hopefully it will help you so stay tuned in just a moment and we'll bring up our terminal
So if you haven't hit that like button, make sure to do so now. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Lots more Raspberry Pi content coming soon. Videos every Thursday, so stay tuned. Get the notifications, the bells, all that junk going. And uh, yeah, make sure to leave a comment. All right, so let's go Control Alt and T on our keyboard. Let's bring up our terminal here. I am using uh, Terminator. Uh, great to run multiple instances of Terminal all in one shot. It's great. So we're just going to go CD uh, boot and then LS and then sudo nano uh, and we want the config dot txt file so config.txt you can also press tab on your keyboard and it should auto complete it but if it doesn't you can do that so I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger here so you guys can see it so we're gonna look here uh, and we're gonna scroll right to the bottom here and right here so I tried a bunch of different things, so if you see some weird things in here, don't worry about it. There's only one command that you need to do, and that is this guy right here. Right here. So you're going to want to put arm underscore control equals 0x200. And you can put this in underneath Pi 4 or all. I have it at all. So basically what this is doing is this is the ARM V8 control. So I don't think it was enabled prior for some odd reason. But adding this in has uh, changed my video drastically. All the stuff I'd done before, I found by just having this, I was able to now watch YouTube and other things in just the regular Chromium app. So that is the command that you're going to want to add to it. I'm going to throw that in the description there. Um, yes, I'm running an overclocked uh, Pi 4. Uh, as you can see here, uh, I've just been playing around, having fun with it. I do notice I have two of the VC4 overlays enabled here. Uh, so I should probably disable that guy while I'm here, because it's already enabled up here. And that's it. So, um, yeah, I've basically... As you can see, there's some audio stuff here as well. I'll go ahead and explain that in the next video, but that's it. Give this a try. If you have no other option, add this arm control equals zero X 200 to your boot config.txt file, and that should help. And then all you're going to do after that is you're just going to do your sudo reboot and then you're going to go ahead and test out your video uh, for playback. And you should be good to go. I just wanted to um, test the video playback with that uh, animation video. It is the most common that everyone uses. I could have done a lot of different options there, but I chose that one. Um, it's not an actual test to see how my quality is or anything like that. It's the fact that now I don't have any of that garbled video playback. It's running pretty darn good. And at a lower resolution, it is absolutely great. Um, watching videos on here is great. I even have... So I do have Plex installed on here as well. And I absolutely love using Plex behind me here, as you can't really see, but it's hiding 
right behind me here, I've got this guy here running my uh, server for uh, Plex. So that's a lot of fun. Just so you can see here, I will go to uh, my files here. Well, we can continue watching this guy here. This was me just playing around, testing to make sure that uh, Plex was working. I've got all my library on it. This is actually footage from, I do believe it was um, this one. Uh, yeah, so 2K4. This is the GameCube uh, and all their, their stuff that they did. And, of course, my favorite movie, The Goonies. And previously, I was unable to actually play these videos on my Raspberry Pi. Even Plex wouldn't work. Uh, it was terrible. Everything, it would just really wasn't good. Uh, with the Raspberry Pi, having uh, to... Um, do a lot more with having that dual HDMI out we're seeing a lot more issues that they didn't account for prior so and that's where we're seeing our audio issues our video issues and uh, things communicating uh, correctly together uh, are not as well as they should be now had they just had one HDMI I think they would have been better to have that than the two or have a model that uh, was purely uh, a single HDMI output on it. I think it would be a different ball game. Well, it is a learning experience. Uh, each week it seems we are having uh, a new issue come up for every update that does come out. So whether it's a new install or an old install, we seem to all be suffering from a few different issues. So I hope this was of some help to someone. Thank you for watching, everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?